Hello, this is Salty323 and welcome back to Rome Total War. And this is an idea which I had while making the modding video. This is with fraps and let's just turn it very hard, not that it really matters. I, I want a time limit thing. Basically, what this is, is what the AI does. I hate goals. Goodbye. Basically, I've put in the launch options that I want. Uh, dash AI, which means that AI does everything. See? It's doing stuff for me. So. Toggle foul. Although it does seem to not like some things. And it goes awfully quickly. But then again, it is early game, so they don't really have much to do. So, doing the usual thing. Ooh, that's something which you don't really see, is a fort being built. There. And the good thing is, I'll be able to see what the other countries are doing. Okay, Germania just got Prussia, basically. Well, where Brandenburg and Prussia is. And something which the AI seems to do is have soldiers on low. Have cities on low. And it's just getting rid of AI. It's got balanced. Yeah, that's a problem. It end turns for you, which could be really annoying. And you just constantly get the turn thing. Okay, fine. Let's just wait until I can and just get rid of it. Good. Okay, so what? what's in the army? That's the problem, you can't actually see what's in the army. But it's most likely Hestati See, you don't have the chance. Okay, so that's interesting that the Romans sent a small army to take Carolus. Okay, New Midia is still alive. Ooh, wow. Seleucids are being smashed. Okay, they decided, the Romans and the AI decided to go for that. Now just. Okay, I guess it lost the battle. Okay, that was a uh, several battles, and ultimately the AI. Well, I lost. The economy is quite good, though. That's one thing which I can say. Say, and no one is routing. Ooh, Macedon is getting quite big, and it's taking. Settlements which you don't really see them take, like Segestica. But I believe that's Segestica. Dacia is also pretty big. Considering it usually gets utterly destroyed. Did the Gauls take there? Yes, they did. Also quite surprising. 
Oh, new meteor hasn't actually attacked. Hmm. The thing is, if I do this again, that uh, completely different things will happen. So, I see what the AI is doing. It's basically being very defensive. And it's got like that fort there. Basically acts like the. I think it's Arminum. I think so. Or is it Aretium? Ah, Aretium. It's basically a central city or sa settlement to take everything. And oh my! Julia is doing pathetically. And it's hard AI versus hard AI. Seriously. The AI sucks. Sucks, I say. Ooh, Armenia's pretty big as well. While well, the Seleucids are pretty much no more. The Brutii doesn't really seem to be expanding, expanding into Greece. More expanding into... Germany, Austria, that sort of region, Poland. But Gaul is a powerhouse right now. Parthia, whoa. Yeah, I'm just going to... You're going to get that quite a lot. I'm just going to say, wow, that's surprising. Now, that is very surprising. That because of the Julii are being pathetic wimps. Uh, the Brutii are just freely taking land, which the Julii usually get. And did the AI seriously just do that? It end turned, even though they've got a city. Look, they're just the AI is just end turning. Stupid AI. Well, this definitely shows how stupid the AI is. Because of... Ooh, actually, the... Gauls went into a different location. But Brookie is just getting pa more powerful. Greece is even going into Pontus now. Yeah. And... I will just point something out. Even that AI does what everyone did, apart from biscuits, in the new media challenge. It just left Sphitzera, I think it's pronounced, to its own devices. Just went home. Just, I don't care. The thing is, at this point in time, I, I had... All of Italy and almost half of Gaul by now. I don't know what the AI is doing. Because it's not like it's the Julia is getting any money. It's at 270 right now and it's at 490 right now. What? is the AI doing? Why does it think this is a clever idea? Oh my days. The thing is I'm not entirely sure how long to make this video. Ah, I have an idea. But then again that could take hours. What I was going to say is basically just let it run, run, talking of course, and just as soon as Judy I die or the campaign is finished, um, stop recording and then split it up into several different videos, but it's 8 o'clock right now and that could take over the night.
What? I'm, I really don't know what the AI is doing. The first thing which I think, good, the AI is now taken back. Well, it's taking back. There. Idiot. The Judaites could have just f taken it. It shouldn't have just unturned. That's something which the AI tends to do. Is it tends to just besiege? It doesn't actually take. It doesn't go. I'm going to besiege this, then take. Uh, the next turn, it just besieges. And look how badly Julia is doing. And Julia is supposed to be a powerhouse. Um, James, Avery, yes, I'm talking to you. Are you contr controlling Gaul? Because of Gaul is never this powerful. Unless the, unless it isn't controlled by the AI. Okay, so Pontus still is starting to get destroyed. Armenia is improving in strength. Carthage is now attacking uh, Numidia, not a surprise, um, Spain is still alive, that's quite surprising, Egypt is getting very powerful, so in other words, sucks to be Julii. Okay, uh, Brittany is attacking Germany, which is quite interesting, well no, they they always do that. Thrace even took some uh, Dacian land, but Dacia now has two more cities than they usually do. What I want to know is, is the AI just waiting for, like, urban cohorts? And as soon as I shall not attack until I have urban cohorts, uh, until I have the prima uh, after the Marian reforms. And then you're just like, well, if you do that, you've, you're you dead. Simple. You're just dead. Because of... It's not like the... Julia is getting that much money. About a thousand. Oh, Greece is getting powerful. I have no clue how long this video has been. I shall shift tab. 13 minutes. Okay. So, oddly, it's got the majority of its standing army in Arminum, not Aretium. And it's got some weird diplomat army. Rebel. Thing. What is the AI doing? Why doesn't the AI split up the army it's got in Arminum and put it in Aretium? It would make sense. Although then again, if they, they both get besieged at the same time, it's better to not have it split. But... Ooh, wow, Brittany's still getting more and more powerful. Egypt now has Cyprus. The Brutii is fighting back against the Greeks. Um, here comes Scipii. Uh, okay. Gaul is still doing amazingly well. Just... AI, if you're any good, take, I think it's Mediolanium. No, Patavium. Take Patavium now. Low defense, and it's an already upgraded city. It's just like common sense. Okay, so 
Skip guy taking um fast bus kind of made the made Carthage go for New Media, but however New Media is fighting back. Uh the Greek cities is doing very well. Uh Germania is just getting forced back. Parthia is still alive. That's surprising. Pontus is now nothing. Pontus was a powerhouse, but now it's nothing. Armenia uh, was also a powerhouse, but is just being slaughtered. I don't know what the AI is doing. It's got almost three full armies now. Just take a settlement. Ooh, the Greeks are still trying to... Oh my days! Look how powerful Egypt is, for one. And look how powerful Greece is. The Brutii is getting forced out of Greece. Let's explore around if I actually could. Oh wow, Br Britain. Oh my days, what is happening with this? Okay, so only um, the Skiffy Eye is doing reasonably well. Let's have a look at Numidia. No army. Quite a strong army. Uh, curse you and done. And no army. So Carthage has well and truly fallen. However, they still have three settlements left. Oh wow, that's something which you, which is rather interesting, actually, is that you kind of see what you get in Shogun 2, a kind of balance of power. You get like four powerhouses. Like, for example, Spain is now taking apart Gaul. Um, although that's an interesting time is at hand. A clash between Egypt and Greece. But no doubt they're going to get distracted and leave um, Pontus and stuff like that alone. Oh, actually I was wrong. But it seems Egypt has been distracted and is now taking that. Oh, wow. Gaul is being demolished. So, uh, AI, why aren't you attacking Patavium Mediolanium? And Segesta, I think it is. Because of, look! Britain is now the new powerhouse in of the Celtic tribes. So please, just don't be stupid. Just... Be clever and wise. Act like you're human. I know you can't be human, but please just act like you are. It makes things a lot easier. Okay, someone just won a victory there. Hmm. I'm surprised Britain hasn't actually taken out Germania yet, but no doubt Gaul attacked Britain, then Spain attacked Gaul, and uh, Gaul had to split his army in two, and Britain's just getting distracted by them. Oh wow, Egypt, Egypt, Egypt is huge! Huge, I say. I'm surprised Parthia hasn't 
done anything else. Okay, so... In terms of countries which... In this position, I would be most scared of. Egypt, Britain, Greece, and Gaul. Spain is becoming to be that size of a threat, but Egypt, Brit uh, Egypt Britain, and um, Greece are the two, yeah, uh, three countries with the most land. The second highest is probably Parthia or Spain, then um, uh, da da da. Skippy eye, yeah. Them. I don't know what the AI is doing at all. I think it's Britain's just getting more powerful. Yeah, about to have new neighbours. The British Empire is about to be f formed. Oh my days. Carthage is pushing back. Just as soon as... Oh, that's so unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Oh, wow. Did Armenia just take back land? I like how Britain and Spain have basically just carved up um, gold between them. Britain had the upper hand. And now Britain's taking apart Dacia. But, okay, it looks like I know who's going to win this campaign. Egypt, I'm looking at you. Oh, that's such a shame. Parthia ran out of family members. And then died. And Egypt is now just taking up all of the settlements. But Egypt is also pushing against um, Greece as well. And Spain is just getting more land and more land and more land. Britain, I think, is going to be the next country to fall. Oh wow, Gaul actually pushed Britain back. No, Spain back. Do I see an offensive? On Segesta? I just want to have a look at what army they have. Just let me do it. Okay, I can just click. That is a terrible army. No wonder you can't do anything. Okay, Spain is now a very much a threat. A very, very much. Very much a threat. That doesn't really make sense. Well, it is very dangerous to Judei. But look how big Egypt is. I don't want to look at the production values because of Rome's going to be at, well, Julia is going to be at nothing. It's in production. It will go um, Egypt, Greece, Spain, Spain or Britain. Ooh, rebels in in Britain. I told you Britain would be the n next to fall. Ah, never mind. And even Spain it is attacking. Julia, just please, please, I'm begging of you. Just attack. Segesta. No, that's that one. Segesta. It's the last Gallic city. Just do it. Mm. 
but as I was saying, um, probably now Britain, Spain, Skippy Eye. That's how it would go. Egypt, because of it's got the Nile R River and those fertile lands, and it's the biggest nation. The Greeks, because of Greece. Spain, because of the Hispanian area, the Spanish area. Finally, Britain, the Julia is doing something. And Egypt is just getting more and more powerful. Well, congratulations, AI. The Egyptians have formed the, um, hmm. Let's think of a name. The Middle Eastern Russian Con Constitution. Yes. No, Federation. Or Confederation. You're not going to take it. Just give up. Oh, wow. Scythia fought back against Egypt. That's very surprising. I love the fact that SBQR is doing nothing. It's probably just set demanding Julia attack this place, and that's pretty bad um, because of the Julia has no money, so we can't retrain. You poor thing. I feel really sad for them. Okay, so the, um, Britannian, um, Britannian Spaniard Alliance, the, a marriage of convenience is about to come to an end. Well, I think so. Why would you see that in there? Ooh, Skippy is about to fall as well because of rebels. I'm surprised Greece hasn't pushed. Uh, Brutia out of Greece again. 